Bought a new gun with two clips, I can't wait to use it And that bitch stick to my hip like I glued it I What's going on everybody? Welcome! To the channel today we're going to go over stub methods you should be utilizing to make max profit it's a few different methods that you can do every day for about an hour and walk away with at least 60,000 to 150 or 200,000 stubs the more time you invest using these tips the more stubs you will walk away with if you enjoy this content drop a like on the video don't be a hater your whole life hit that red subscribe button and turn your notifications on everybody that dropped a comment on yesterday's video my wife's pack opening that shows a lot of support to me i want to thank all y'all drop your name down below if you watch yesterday's video write mvp i will pick four different winners out of yesterday's videos comment section two for playstation two for xbox i love all y'all we will start back with the shout outs on the next video but let's get into today's ba -ba -ba banger if you're looking for great gaming services head on over to ahmlb and make sure you use code fat for five percent off your order so the very first thing you need to take advantage of to get yourself a guaranteed 50 to 80,000 stubs, you can only do it one time, is my ball player exchange. You can go up here, you can buy all the cards that you need, you're going to be guaranteed to get a diamond pack. So you can't see it right now, but right here if you exchange the silver perks for the gold perks, you're going to be able to choose one item. Right here, you exchange the bronze for the silver, you're going to get one item, and then the diamond, you're going to get all the bronzes, all the silvers, all the golds, put them in there, and then they're going to give you three diamond choices a few times. Step number two is working the market. It don't take as long as you think. So for today's video, we're going to go 81 to 85. They have been working good and I'm going to walk you through exactly what you need to do and how you need to set it up. So we'll do 81 through 85 live series. So when you get on the market right now, before the whole world sees these videos, you can see it's about a 14, 1500 gap on this wine soto very very easy stubs once you take the tax off you're going to take about 600 off so if it's 1500 you're going to take 600 off you do the math that's about 845 to 900 stubs on every single flip this one has a 1700 gap in it you're only going to take 600 off that's going to be a little over a thousand stubs every single flip i'm going to show you real fast in the video so we want to buy him so what i would do is go 51 0 Four. Okay, so 5101 is the lowest that you want to buy them from. 5104 is going to make it so the person wants to sell them to me faster. Now, I can sell them back for 6887. I will go one under the buy now. But being that I know it's a 1700 gap and I got a chance to make over a thousand stubs, I don't mind losing. 10 or 15 stubs so in order for him to sell faster instead of me doing 68 87 going one down i would go five or six stubs down as you can see in the top right corner he sold already and what was that 25 to 30 seconds if you are following this channel you're going to begin tips like this all year long also once we hit 9,000 subscribers i'm going to open up that discord that a lot of people been asking now when the new content drops in the next two to three hours you will be able to do this all over again with different cards so you can come down here you can find a lot of gaps like these ones kirby yates it's only an 800 gap then you got these corey seegers that have 1600 and 1700 gaps so those are the ones that you want to go after you don't want to do these thousand stub gaps lose 600 off and only get 400 stubs you want to always be trying to make 650 to 700 minimum up to a thousand or 1200 stubs on every single flip this wine soda is the same thing 1500 gap in between you take 600 off is going to leave you with about 850 to 900 stubs so if you look at the Corey Seager in the top right corner he sold took about 40 to 45 seconds so if you can get yourself four or five of them real fast and then you just wait four to five minutes put them up at a decent price you can turn around and make in five minutes about six to seven thousand stubs as long as you get the right people now some of these diamonds right here 
are going to be lower than the diamond quick sell so these are back orders like i told y'all last time right before the roster update you can go get certain players that you think has the potential to go up and i'll show y'all right now so we'll go to 81 to 84 live series hernandez is what a lot of people are gonna speculate right before the roster update. So right now you can get them for 3,000 stubs. So if you remember this, like I'm telling you, you subscribe to the channel with your notifications on. Once the roster updates get close, you can go in and still put his sell now for 3,000. So you might not get them in that first 24 hours, but eventually people will stop putting in buy orders and then all the sell nows would eventually kick out and you would be getting all these new updated diamonds for 3,000 stubs a piece. That'd be 2,000 stub profit on every single investment. So all these cards that people thought last time was gonna get updated, you should be making sure that you holding on to these very good prices right now. Under 3,000 right here. George Springer, he's not doing the best right now, but in the long term, the next two to three roster updates, he only needs a plus one. He just needs to get a little bit hot. He was injured for a long time. It's under 3,000. This one is 3,000 on the dot. Because when you get closer to the roster update and you're trying to invest, you're going to be spending 38, 3,900, 41, 4,300. And that's not what you want to do. That's not how you do the stub making game. Right here, Jared Walsh, 2,800, very cheap. The reason why you get players like Jared Walsh that hasn't been upgraded in the past three roster updates is because they have good value all the time. 2800, he starts hitting more and more home runs in real life. People still going to believe he's going to get that upgrade, even though we know now he hasn't been upgraded. But we'll go to 43, 4400 stubs off of speculation, and then you got him for 28, 2700, and you're making 18 to 1900 stubs on every single investment. Get these Jerry Walshes for 2800 the day of the roster update. He goes up to about 42, 4300. You don't have to hold them in case he goes to diamond. You can cash out right now. If you got 20 to 25 of them, walk away with your guaranteed 50 to 70,000 stubs, rinse and repeat. If y'all enjoyed it, drop a like on the video. If y'all rocking with me, I got y'all. It's all love. Let's go.